what's happening with the local talent of tomorrow. Today on the Express, the future is so bright that I gotta wear everything on that runway. On today's show, the students design a collection and they choose three looks to produce. UFV's absolute style year-end runway show. It was a huge challenge, coordinating a thousand people, two buses, three trucks, a helicopter, three horses. UBC's Lip Dub, a school project of a lifetime. It was the definite challenge. They have to be the best of the best. BCIT's aircraft maintenance engineers. There's glazing on the opposite side of these walls here. Quantland's in interior design grads of 2011. I feel like I'm in the right track and I'm in the right profession and I'm ready. Five days of India, so you'll go See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express, I'm Joe Hanaward. Today's show is all about grads who are going places. From the fashion designers here at the University of the Fraser Valley, to the interior designers of Kwantlen, to the aircraft engineers at BCIT. But up first, it's a school project that has scored almost a million views on YouTube. As Pink says, raise your glass for UBC's Lip Dub. Rock stars on a bus, swimming pool, scuba divers, and more than a thousand university kids in absolute hysterics. If you haven't seen the UBC lip dub by now, well, prepare to be amazed. Now meet the masterminds behind it all. Andrew, Bijan, and Michael, three students who helped put together the mother of all lip dubs. One dollar. <laughs> One dollar, Bob. Yes. It was a huge challenge, coordinating a thousand people, two buses, three trucks, a cherry picker, a helicopter, three horses, two cars, uh, and a whole bunch of students who had never been here before. It was a definite challenge. But somehow all eight minutes of the fantastical performance turned out without a hitch. How? Well, they had a lot of hands on deck. We had a production team of 20 amazing volunteers and then an additional 40 who were each responsible for, uh, you know, 50 feet of space on our route. And since the students improvised most of their moves, quick thinking was a prerequisite here. I'm going to be an underwater actor. It's got a freaking helicopter. A helicopter. There's lots of things that can happen at the last minute, lots of decisions that have to be made at the last minute, and you have to rely on everyone being able to be on top of their game to do it. And our production team was exactly like that. So excited for liftoff. Yeah, yeah why? Because it's our chance to prove that we're better than Miguel and uh, Uvic. Still, there are a couple nagging questions to be asked. Like, was the entire lip dub really shot in one take? The short answer is no. They had to cut and change cameras for the underwater and helicopter scenes. However, it was a necessary cheat, says Cohen. We figured that doing some of the cool stuff that we did, going underwater, having a helicopter, it was worth cutting the camera to get the really cool angle. Here's another question. Many people were expecting the blue flash mob to spell out UBC in giant letters at the end. So why didn't it happen? That was definitely an idea that we considered. I personally saw it and thought it was somewhat tacky. I mean, UBC, the name UBC is already all over this thing. It's UBC Lift Up. Also, Cohen says there just wasn't enough time to pull it off. Still, it hasn't stopped UBC Lift Up from garnering nearly one million YouTube hits and thousands of dollars in donations for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the result of some serious school spirit. This is what it was about. It was about making the big small, about uh, showing campus spirit, about feeling that you're part of a community. And at the very least, these three guys have a university experience they'll never forget. I'm Tim Chung at UBC for The Express. Today, seeing the crowd, I know we are making the best lift up in the world. Who uh <laughs>
The Lift Up team is still accepting donations from corporate sponsors, and as mentioned, all of the proceeds go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And that's a pretty awesome and creative project, but just wait until you see what's next. Today on the Express, we're at the University of the Fraser Valley, and this is the Fashion Design Program's Grad Fashion Show. Raw Sheen, I love the name of the line, and it's all about being dairy and edgy, so is that how you describe yourself? Um, sometimes, actually, but I like to take daring as in like fashion being to the extreme, so I like to take the shapes to make them edgy and be creative that way. I love the program, it was really intense, we learned a lot really fast, but it's all going to pay off today for sure. Since I was a little, I think I was in grade seven, I wanted to do this. And uh, it's just, so Indian fashion has been like really like inspiring for me. And uh, um, so I just wanted to take that a little further. We hear the term East meets West quite a lot, you know, in pop culture, but you've really done that with your line. Was that the intention? Yes, it was. I wanted to take um, traditional Indian clothing uh, and transform them through like modern cuts uh, for people that are, uh, you know, here because the cultures are mixing. It's a two year diploma program, and the students um, design a collection of 30 pieces and they choose three looks to produce. They actually design them, they draft them, they sew them, and they also merchandise them so that they look the way they look on the runway. My line is eco-friendly, so I do believe that fashion can be more than just something beautiful. It can help the planet, so that's what I've sort of strived for and that's what I kind of wanted to encompass with the name. And it can be beautiful as well, yes? Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Clothes should be beautiful. It should make you feel beautiful too. This is really important. I find a lot of times in the fashion industry, people take things really seriously. And especially for the demographic, it's meant for, there's no room to take things seriously. And that's definitely what I want my line to be. And I wanted it just to be something that people feel comfortable and confident in. How confident are you feeling today? Is it exciting to be um, at this point? It's probably the most nerve-wracking thing you can ever imagine in your entire life. Congratulations, and you seem oh. so calm. Oh, oh, you should see me backstage. <laughs> <laughs> that's, okay. that's part of the public eye, though, right? you got to get used to that. Absolutely, hopefully, yeah. Okay. Project Runway, she's ready. Next. I'm very proud. Um, it's amazing to see how much they've accomplished in two years, and I'm looking forward to see where they end up. Later, we'll talk to a gradding designer from UFV who's already shown at Montreal Fashion Week. But right now, it's a whole different kind of runway. We're off to the Aerospace Center in Richmond to learn about the real responsibilities of life as an aircraft maintenance engineer, a career with pretty high stakes. A career in aerospace mechanics challenges the hands, the brain, and the nerves. They have to be the best of the best because they are not allowed to make any mistakes. Oh, yeah. A lot of pressure there. Because, I mean, you fly, your family flies, and you don't want them hurt. So these people have got it naked to an airworthiness standard. And by doing that airworthiness standard, it means it's safe to fly. It's a lot of pressure, but the students at BCIT's Aerospace Maintenance Program are used to it. The intensive program is nearing its end, and students are preparing for the BC Skills Competition. They're in your graduation here because now they've got hydraulics, they've got the landing gear, they've got uh, helicopters, they've got a lot of component time, all the basics and all that, because it's a very, very high pressure competition, because in one day here at the BC Skills, they've only got six hours to get a gold medal. Cool. Well, it's, it's a sheet metal project, right? So it's just all we, what we learned back in level three, um, I mean, our bending, our cutting, our riveting, all those place factors in this project. Corey is hoping to do well in the competition in Abbotsford. It could mean a lot for his career. We're showcasing our young, talented people, and a lot of director maintenance and chief engineers will come out and actually look at these young people, say, you know what, that's the kind of young person we want to have on our staff. I would like to work on helicopters. 
they fascinate me a lot. They're a little more complicated than your regular fixed swing. And uh, so getting a job in helicopters is my biggest goal right now. The program gives students the skills to work all over the world in an industry that's forever changing. It's high tech, it's growing, more computers are getting involved. These young people just love what's going on in this industry and they're getting these new aircraft that are coming out, the composites and all this. So yeah, it's a very high and interesting uh, trade. And talk about changing fast. That's your oil filter assembly? I've graduated actually two months ago and the school has offered me uh, additional training. They called me and they're like, okay, come back, we'll train you. And I've been training for the past couple of weeks on the structural stuff. I'm Aaron Shaw in Richmond for The Express. Congratulations, the gold medal went to Andrew Lines from Northern Lights College. Silver and bronze were both students from BCIT. You're watching The Express and we have more stories of runways and rewards coming up. This is our restaurant here, so we see that kind of black After the break, with the black leather. Quantlin's interior design program. I'm glad it's over, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to the future. You were shortlisted here, then you got shortlisted, 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 made it top 25 UFV's award-winning fashion design grad. You're watching local TV on the Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.